Hello and welcome to another episode of the Player's Handbook 5e review video and today we're looking at the Ranger. Um, now the Ranger is pretty sweet, artwork, a bit of a different Rangers, what they're about, um, a bit like their adventures because they're quite loners compared. Even though they're loners they like to join the groups and go adventuring, but hey ho. Um, that block you can get some spells up to five, some spell slots, 11 cantrips at the end, etc. Some blank spots in there, but you gain other things to fill those spaces depending on which route that you go. So this class um, suggests that you take to de dexterity as your highest, followed by wisdom. Um, if you're going to focus on two weapon fighting, then take strength instead and choose the outlander background. That would give you a classic ranger feel. Um, to your game. Uh, saving throws are strength and dexterity so just keep that in mind um, and they do wear medium armor but they can have shields. Um, your feats, your general feats for the class are favored enemy so you can choose a particular kind of enemy um, that your ranger hates I guess. Um, so you can choose between beasts, celestials, constructs, dragons, elementals, fey, fiends, guardians, monstrosities, ooze, plants, and undead. Um, or you can alternatively you can select two humanoid raisers such as gnolls or orcs. Um, you have advantage on wisdom survival checks. Um, you can learn one language if your favorite enemy chooses one. Um, you can choose an additional one at level 6 and 14. Um, it also notes that as you level up, you should choose the one that reflects what you're up against at that time. Uh, Natural Explorer, so, you know, difficult terrain doesn't slow you down. Um, you can't get lost, you can get more food when you forage, etc, etc. Fighting style, um, two weapon fighting. Dueling, defense, and archery, same as the fighter. Um, and the paladin are the same feats, they don't change, obviously. The you know the paladin's only got um, doesn't have archery, but it has the other ones instead, so um, it's nothing unique about those, to be fair. But they're there anyway. Uh, spell casting. You get like level two, um, the range of spells and wisdom is your spell ability. Um, at level three, also, you choose an archetype, so you can choose um, the hunter or the beastmaster. The hunter, all about killing things, you know, which probably would stereotypically you'd go for two handed fighting, but depending on what class you want to be, that you want to play, um, you gain different things, so you get hunters play at third. Um, defense tactics at seventh, and superior hunter defense at fifteenth, and they have in unique things that you can choose one of. So, at third level, colossus slayer, giant killer, or horde breaker. So, just to tell you, one of them, uh, the colossus slayer, your tenacity can wear down the most potent foes, and when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, the creature takes one extra. D8 damage if it's below its min point maximum you can deal this extra damage only once per turn once per turn um, which is great it gives you extra th extra things to do to other people in different scenarios and stuff so extra damage is always good Beastmaster on the other hand unless I'm reading this wrong it seems a little bit underpowered you can get a companion that's of a rating of one quarter or lower. Um, you do add proficiency to the beast's AC, attack rolls, damage rolls, as well as max point, maximum equals, the normal maximum, or four times your your ranger level, whichever is higher. Um, it obeys your command. Um, On your turn, you can verbally command the beast where to move. No action required of you. You can use your action to verbally command it to attack, dash, disengage, dodge, or help action. Um, 
once you have the extra attack feature you can make one attack again and attack yourself when you command the beast mechanism. actually you know what that's pretty good actually so you can split it so when you get to level five you can attack once yourself and once for your um, companion and then later down the line your companion gets two attacks as well so at that point you get three so i take that back actually yeah it is pretty good i just must have misread it um before doing this video um but i'm not going to redo it i'm just going to look silly on youtube um so in that case it's a great class um I'm, i wish the ac uh, the challenge rating could have been a little bit higher because it opens up to a little bit more of the things but i guess they don't want to go too big I mean, it's not like other editions where you can have a giant constrictor snake that's 60 feet long or a tyrannosaurus rex slash panther shadow or something uh, ridiculous so i guess they want to keep it a little bit grounded uh, but we'll see where it goes in possibly a player's handbook too you never know what they're going to do next so this class actually is pretty good i take it back what i said um if you want to be a if you want to role play two characters instead of one choose the ranger um great artwork if you love that, that kind of thing so that's it happy gaming good luck and keep those rolls high